Hi, I'm Natalia with Mom's Dish. Today we are making beef lo mein, one of our very top recipes for literally the last 10 years. Family favorite and you will absolutely love it. We are starting with the sauce ingredients. I have a fourth cup of hot water. It's actually hot boiling water. I'm adding two tablespoons of brown sugar and you can use light brown sugar or darker one, either one works. And then I have three tablespoons of soy sauce and I am using this beef better than bouillon uh, for flavoring. So you can use chicken, they have beef, they have vegetable version, whichever one you like. I am getting a tablespoon of that and I'm gonna just combine it all together until everything dissolves. When your mixture is all dissolved, we're just gonna set this aside and work on our noodles. I have some water going here. We're gonna boil the noodles. So I have lo mein noodles for this. You can actually use spaghetti noodles as well. I have used that before. The very first time I made this recipe, I used spaghetti noodles and it was pretty epic. But lo mein noodles is just like the traditional way of using them. Um, they do cook quicker. So my packaging said that you will cook them in about six minutes. So just keep that in mind. You will want them to be al dente. You don't wanna overcook them and make the whole like noodle dish really mushy. So that's not good. My water is boiling. I'm going to just dump them in and just stir them. Just going to move them around in here so they don't stick together and allow them to boil and set a timer. Okay, we're going to remove them and set them aside. And one of the things that you can do is add like a little splash of oil on them so they don't stick together because sometimes when you have cooked noodles, can you even see me off behind the stick? <laughs> but sometimes hot noodles tend to stick together. So I like to do a little bit of sesame oil and just set this aside and we're gonna work on the other steps. We're adding that little sprinkle of sesame oil and sesame oil is like one of my favorite oils for stir fries because it adds so much flavor. I'm just gonna combine it together and setting this aside. I think one of the longest things about this recipe is all the prep, but once you have everything ready, it cooks so fast. So the next step is for us to slice up the beef. I am using flank here, and one of the tips for stir fries, you always want to freeze flank for a little bit or any other beef because it slices very thinly. So my flank has been freezing for about an hour or so, and we're gonna slice it up into thin pieces. One of the other things that you want to keep in mind is the bite size. So this is kind of wide. I like to cut it in half. So I'm going to cut it like this in half. Maybe it's a little too frozen. It's not too bad. This side is kind of more frozen. Just kind of let it sit for too long maybe. And then you want to cut it against the grain. So the grain goes this way. You want to cut it this way because for bite size pieces, it's just going to be easy to bite into. So I'm cutting it very thinly against the grain and the pieces are quite thin. Like if you look at this, once it cooks, it's just gonna fall apart. It's so perfect. It's too frozen. All of our beef is pre-cut. We're gonna just move this over and just set it aside. And then we're gonna work on our vegetables. I just need to clean up my working place. If you need measurements, we actually will list them all down below. But for the vegetables, I need a whole onion. We are using two large carrots and you need about four garlic cloves. Mine are kind of small, so I'm using five and then two cups of broccoli. We're gonna chop this up. So I'm gonna start out with just onions and you wanna do like half ring size. Thinly cut, but half ring is great because it tastes really good in a stir fry. Okay, move this over. If you have a tip for not crying when you're cutting onions, please let me know. One of my friends swears that if you cut off this edge, okay, this is ridiculous because I think it's so ridiculous, never tried it. And you place this on top of your head. This is so dumb. And like you cut the onion, it prevents you from crying. I don't know what, how that works. Maybe it's the balancing act. I just think it's really crazy, but I wanted to share. <laughs> if you have better tips, let me know. I'd love to hear those because I don't want my hair smelling like onion. Now we're gonna clean up these carrots and the way, actually, let me peel them and show you how I like to cut them. I like to cut them into strips. That way they give you those equal pieces of flavor, similar to onion. That way everything's balanced really well. It's all about cutting everything to similar size pieces. So we are gonna try that with carrot too. Even though they're all different vegetables, they're slightly different, but you still want the bites to be very similar. 
Here's the way I cut, uh, not an onion, carrot. We're gonna cut it like this at an angle. That way you get those longer strips. It just gives you illusion of a longer carrot. Then we're gonna just cut it like this into long strips. Okay, this is how it comes out to be. Just little strips. I set those aside and just continue cutting the rest of the onion. Why do I keep on saying onion? This is a carrot. <laughs> we're just gonna move this over as well. Just set it aside. And all we have is garlic left. So for the garlic, I like to mince it. So one of the best ways to get rid of the peel, you chop off the end of the garlic, like the rough edge, and then you smash it. Oh, that was a big smash. <laughs> Maybe a little bit lighter than that, but it works. It just, the, the peeling part, what do you call that? The outside layer removes very easily. Wow, this one is really hard too. Okay, I had a lot of coffee this morning, it's working. You can press the garlic or you can actually mince it. I am gonna mince it in this recipe, but really it's up to you. I have pressed it before. We have made this beef lo mein so many times. It's like a family favorite recipe. And yeah, so we're just basically rolling with it. Whatever we do at home and there is no right way of doing things. And just to mince it, you go alongside like this. Then we're gonna do the other way. Kind of combine it together and just keep doing it until you like the desired minced pieces. And if you don't like my knife skills, I mean, I'm a home cook, so don't judge them. I'm not a pro here. If you have tips, I'll take them. You can leave them down below in comments. I'm always open to suggestions. I move this over. This is where things really move quick. I have a large wok. If you don't have a wok, use the biggest skillet you have because you don't want to overcrowd anything that you're frying right now. You want that sear or sear. What do you call that? Like a browning of everything. So we need browning on beef, we need browning on vegetables. So I'm gonna place some oil in here. I have sesame oil. You can use avocado, olive oil, whatever you want. Like I said earlier, I love the flavor of sesame oil. So we're adding that in. And we're just gonna toss in beef in here right away. And I wanna spread this out as much as possible so it's not overlapping in my wok and just cook at the highest temperature. As your beef cooks, you wanna just stir things around so it gets a nice coloring on all sides. Letting it get a little bit more golden color and then we're gonna set it aside. See like this colors, it's starting to look good. Our beef has a nice golden color. I'm just gonna pop this off and place it in a pan and set it aside. And in the same wok, we're just gonna keep it on heat and we're gonna cook our vegetables. I'm just adding a tiny bit of oil. You don't need a lot because it still has like that flavor from beef. I'm adding my onions in first. I'm gonna cook them until they're nice and golden. Spread them out just like we did with beef. And this basically repeats with everything at this point. Once you start seeing nice golden colors, we're just gonna stir this up and continue spreading it out so it continues cooking evenly all around. Actually, let me just dump this out. It's much easier. Just gonna dump it out. And in the same pan, I'm gonna add a little more oil. And we're gonna add carrots to the mix, so I need more oil. <laughs> okay, adding more oil. It's quite a bit more. Adding on, this is not onion. Why do I keep on calling carrots onions? I'm adding carrots. Dumping that in and doing the same thing. We want them to be golden brown. Once you see your carrots getting a little bit of a color, we're gonna add broccoli to the mix. Both of them need a little more time for cooking, so I'm just gonna cook them together until the broccoli gets softened and just like due to the bite. I am gonna dump in garlic and we're just gonna cook it for a little bit until you smell, I was gonna say here, but you don't hear garlic. You're gonna smell the garlic and once it's fragrant, we're just gonna add in the rest of the ingredients in here. We're adding our onions back to the vegetables. We're gonna toss it all together. Now we're gonna dump in the beef that's been pre-cooked. Dumping that in. 
toss it together and now the magic of the flavor comes in. This is the sauce that we prepared earlier. We're just gonna pour that in. And we're just gonna allow this to simmer together for a few minutes until like the flavors come together. This is when the noodles go in here. We're just gonna dump them in and just toss everything together. And I like to give it a few more minutes to cook all together for the flavors to come like all flavorful. <laughs> the noodles need to absorb some of that sauce. Just gonna continue mixing it. Oh, you guys, this looks yum. And the dinner is all ready. The flavor, everything in this dish is so epic. Yes, there is a lot of chopping that's involved, but it's actually quite easy. You probably have these ingredients at home and it's such a, such a good one. Let's do a quick taste test. I am still learning how to use chopsticks, but we're gonna try this. <laughs> this is how Ukrainians use chopsticks. <laughs> the flavor of this recipe is just so epic. You gotta go make it right now. Bye, and I'll see you next time. Hi friends, I am Natalia with Mom's Dish. Today we are making beef lo mein. It is so delicious. We are absolutely obsessed with this dish. This fish, fish.